Today I have with me one of my favorite subcompact car. It's about the brand new Peugeot E208 or 208 electric version. Although doesn't matter which powertrain it has, electric or internal combustion engine, 208 still stay one of my favorite car in this class and today I'm super happy to present you the facelift the 2024 facelift to show you the changes that Peugeot bring it to this car and of course if you are in Switzerland around Switzerland you want also to see this car test drive or buy the car you can come in Mosedorf at Emil Frey I will leave the link in the description also on the screen so if you want to check out the car see the car test drive the car or buy it check them out link will be in the description before we go forward with the review I want to give you some technical data and information plus the price so in Switzerland if you are in Switzerland here at Emil Frey in Mosedorf the price the starting price of this GT version because I have the GT version with me one of the most expensive version the top of the range version that looks just crazy nice and we will talk about that in a second the price, the starting price is 36,950 francs, but with some extra optional added, for example, the navigation system with Peugeot Connect 500 francs, I will show you later, it's really cool. Alcantara pack, those beautiful seats, Alcantara with leather, they are super, super nice. Totally, totally recommend you. They cost around 1,500 francs extra. Drive pack assist plus, 350 francs definitely worth to get it because you will have lane assist adaptive cruise control all that safety features very useful and then pack vision and panoramic glass roof you have to pay for panoramic glass roof 600 but totally deserved because make the car much more brighter much more nicer the price will go up to 40,200 francs but here at Emil Frey in Mosedorf you have 2,800 francs discount so the final price will be 38,040 francs in other countries for sure the price is much better because in Switzerland usually the price are much bigger so you should expect that in your country to price to be much much uh, better I want to give you even more technical data very important at least for an electric car is the range the range of this new Peugeot 208 it's 398 kilometer 400 kilometer VLTP probably in real life will be will go around 300 350 depends where you drive and how you drive this is also important probably in the city at low speeds perfect weather condition you can reach 400 kilometer that we will have to test in a separate video also if you want to see the test drive videos with the same car I have separate videos so check out on the channel if they are not there click the subscribe to see the notification when those videos will come out as well now when it comes to consumption 14.5 kilowatt hour top speed of the car 150 km per hour is limited there 0 to 100 in 8.2 seconds the power of the car 156 horsepower 260 newton meters it's a front wheel drive system that means the car drive the front wheel and it has one electric motor installed on the front one speed automatic transmission of course when it comes to trunk space around 309 liters i will show you a little bit later when we go there and also the battery capacity 51 kilowatt hour basically usable battery capacity is 48.1 kilowatt hour it's a lithium battery located under the seats rear seats front seats and also center tunnel i should say here in the back i will show you anyway a little bit later when i go in the back there when it comes to suspension independent type mcpherson suspension on the front and torsion bars on the rear ventilated brake discs on the front ventilated brake discs on the rear and 17 inch rims the charging power it's 100 kilowatt hour in dc the top the maximum charging power and in ac it has 7.4 kilowatt so those are really important information now guys let's go outside let's start with the review exterior and then we will go inside and we will talk a little bit about the multimedia and in the end we will make the conclusion yeah let's do it guys this is the key kind of the same key as Peugeot used it in the last years I should say uh, the only difference is the fact that we have a new logo here the new logo from Peugeot otherwise what you can do with the key basically lock and unlock the car and turn on and off the lights 
So that's very helpful in the nighttime, for example, when you don't find your car in a parking lot or something like that, or you want to illuminate your road, you can basically press this button and turn on and off the lights. The lights look phenomenal. We will talk a little bit later about them because now the car comes with a new facelift and it looks much nicer than the previous version. Otherwise, I like very much the fact that when you come close to the car, check this out, you don't have to press any button the car it's basically unlocking for you and yeah this is so simple it comes with keyless entrance that's great electric folding mirrors this is also great and another cool thing is the fact that it comes with an led light that illuminate the floor in the nighttime and it will look really cool here i will try to make a separate video with this function as well otherwise this is the key first of all i know you probably ask me what is the name of this color this beautiful color that fits super nice on the car the name if i remember well it's capoeira green or something like that it's kind of a spanish brazilian nice name that looks just phenomenal it basically it's brazilian name and it looks really really cool it fits very nice with the car the combination of black piano with the rims with this green color look really really cool on the car to be honest i think it's probably one of the most beautiful car subcompact car in this class it has beautiful lines and i'm a big fan of what french designer do with the cars in the last years i mean i really like the shape i i really think it's a beautiful beautiful car i don't know i i like almost every single angle of this car uh, when it comes to design it's pretty nice and it's pretty much coming with a lot of great technology and a lot of great technology when it comes to lightning as well by the way i have the chance and you're lucky to see here some different peugeot 208 look at the old model and look how much this new model grow so that's why i tell you in the last year they grow a lot in terms of design look at the old model and look at the new model it has it has a little bit of unicity now with this i should say lion look in the front cat look in the front basically because they try to move to to more of a cat look it looks much much nicer than before and look at the previous model it's right there and lucky us i can basically show you you can see before it has only one claw on the down part and now on the new facelift it has three so the grill it's also even though the previous version was quite nice now the new one it's even nicer look at the front end man it looks really cool really really nice so it's basically a facelift but a facelift that comes with pretty many changes good changes from my point of view and yeah i love it also it comes with new rims look at the rims aerodynamic rims they look really really cool on the car 17 inch rims they fit fabulous splendid on the car really like it and yeah it comes with a new e so this is the new e on the boat side it looks really cool also it is in the back here e208 gt on the right side here you have panoramic glass roof that you have to pay extra if you want to have it lovely antenna in a black glossy quite nice contrast with this green nice contrast with this green have also the roof spoiler that's really really nice it has nice lines here here is the brake light led light and then it comes in the back tinted windows super nice contrast the black with this green tinted windows on the side as well you have also a wiper on the rear very useful when it's raining like today on both sides you have those e here writing in the new leather super nice and then if you go a little bit lower you have those new design on the lights before were like vertical three lines now they are horizontal horizontal three lines three dimensional shape they look really cool and also the turning signals in three different parts they split in a nice way beautiful beautiful and all it's led light also you can see on the other side they look really cool and also from the back end you know immediately it's a facelift it's a new version and yeah it's much more attractive very nice glossy black and peugeot writing in the back very nice contrast with this color on the down part you have reverse camera with led lights on the number plate here is you have the fog lamp big fog lamp it's normal halogen light probably the only halogen light outside 
uh, that you will find on the car. Some black piano black in the middle with some nice air diffuser and some light reflectors. But overall, it looks, it looks really cool the way they design it. Six sensors on the rear, by the way. And here is the charging port. You can charge it in AC at 7.4 kilowatt or in DC at 100, up to 100 kilowatt. And also even this door feels quite, quite good quality when you touch it. So overall, the quality in Peugeot cars, it's, it's pretty good. Something that I like a lot on this uh, 208 and the same was on the previous version. It's this window here that they basically installed it on the door and you will see when we go inside how good visibility you have. Tinted windows also here, some a little bit of piano black beginning from here, otherwise some rubber around the windows, but it goes nice with piano black, piano black between here, between the windows on the B pillar, glossy, glossy plastic until here and then it comes the mirror in black piano look lovely, nice aerodynamic design. And then you have turning signals, also LED light, super cool. The handles, pretty much basically the same, if I remember, almost the same. A little bit different design in this area here that I like it. And otherwise, quite the same, the good quality on the doors. Basically, they sound the same as on the previous version. So yeah, good quality here as well. On the down part, you have just the paint of the car. Something that I wish to see here, it's the fact that this plastic around the wheels, that it's super useful and it has a very nice contrast between the color and those uh, black glossy. I wish this plastic to be also, because it's protective here around the wheels, I wish to see it also on the down part here. So something, some plastic here to extend in black or something like that until the other part. But otherwise, I like that they extend this body of the car so it's a little bit extended outside. So the design, it's, it's interesting and nice. Then in the front, the same story, very useful. Those uh, plastics around the wheels, those are super useful if you scratch the car or something like that. They are also a little bit extended. Down here, we have those 17 inch wheels plus those beautiful, beautiful aerodynamic rims and caps because it's a combination of plastic here plus those alloy wheels. It's a nice design, it looks good. We have the new Peugeot logo in the middle, ventilated brake disc on the front and ventilated brake disc on the rear as well. No, on the rear is normal brake disc, sorry. But yeah, otherwise quite nice. The rims fit super, super nice. Here on the windshield on the upper side, you have a camera to read the traffic speed limit, lane assist and all that safety feature. Plus the sensor right here for the lights and uh, raining. I'm a big fan of the front end. It's, it's such a lovely front. Look at the front, look at the lights. Oh boy, I never get bored of this view from here. It looks really cool. As I showed you before, you have free clouds right now, right here, nice on the bumper integrated, a little bit higher. You have the turning signals, LED light, very nice, very tiny integrated there. And then you have again, free with free clouds, free lights, super cool. Matrix LED light, look lovely, lovely. Really like that. Six sensors on the front. Here we have 208, the new logo, front camera, this is the radar that works with the camera on the windshield for adaptive cruise control, emergency brake, all that safety features. Plus the grille is phenomenal. The grille is also a change because it comes in a new design. It comes inside, you see, like, like a cat mouth. You know, the cat, if you look at this front and you think about the cat, you see the cat mouth. If you look at the previous version, everything was like horizontal on the grill, but now they basically come like this, a little bit lower, you see, and it's super nice. And also the, the color of the paint here inserted. This is so unique. Peugeot bring this idea and it's so crazy unique and I didn't see on other cars and it's so smart. Great job, Peugeot, really designers. I have nothing to say. And also if you look down here, you see a lip of black piano that looks super nice, kind of continuing in a nice contrast with the grill. Nice. On the previous version it was not like that, but now it is and it looks much, much nicer. Now you probably wonder, this is an electric car, right? And let me show you the space where the engine usually is or the motor basically. And because this car is based and built on the same platform as before, on the same platform as the internal combustion engine version, that one here, 
uh, basically is not built separately or special for electricity. So for that reason, if you look here, you will see that you don't have too much space. Although it's very nice to open the hood, it's very light the hood, I like that. But here you have the electronic parts, batteries and also the motor down there. But otherwise it is what it is. So you don't have any storage space here in the front. Otherwise, not pretty good made, pretty good quality. We go in the trunk now. Open the trunk from here under Peugeot, very nice and manual, of course. You have also some handles, two handles to close it. You have also this protection that I will take it out in a second. And this is the trunk, guys, around 309 liters. Relatively big for the size of the car. I should say it's pretty much enough for, let's say, two person going holiday, even one kid. You can also fit in here your baggage without any problem. You have also the cable here that comes with the car. So inside there, that comes standard when you buy the car. You have some plastic at the entrance. You don't have a flat floor, but you have like maybe 20 centimeter deepness. You have a yellow light here, normal halogen light, some hooks. And if you go even under this floor, you will have even a little bit more space down there. So yeah, pretty useful. Not bad, I should say it's not bad at all. Anyway, let me take this out and then I will fold down the seats to show you how it looks. All right, I just take out that protection so you can see from this angle how much space you have. The entrance is relatively big. I mean, it's square, it's big. It's no problem in terms of uh, entrance. The thing is when you want to fold down the seats, you have to fold it 60-40. You don't have the possibility to fold the middle part. You have to fold it directly, the whole seats just like that it's very simple push it forward and that's it the thing is that you don't have a flat floor although you can aftermarket probably buy something to make it more flat up here but generally the way it comes the car it comes just like that plenty of space i should say with the seats folding down you can carry big items without any problem but you don't have a flat floor you have here maybe 10 centimeter kind of a step but yeah it is what it is pretty nice pretty much good space for the size of the car i should say for a city compact subcompact car it's much space and i like them the most that they install the window on the door that means you have much more space in this area so the entrance is much bigger look at this really really good space also in the back around here this is the way it looks so pretty nice also on the legs room a lot of space on the legs room basically even though they still have transmission tunnel because they put some part of the batteries there uh, but yeah look at this this is it a lot of space to put the stuff even there so yeah it's nice let me put everything back and we'll go inside you have two windows one fixed one here if you want to fold it down you can fold it until here almost down maybe it left like five centimeter maximum otherwise it's pretty nice this is it not double glassing by the way if that's your question otherwise nice design on the door just that you have plastic on the upper side also here you have plastic some black glossy handle here you have leather where your arms it's resting that's very important quite nice the button some some space in the door bands very useful and then you have another speaker otherwise big entrance in the car as i show you before once you go here you can see that beautiful beautiful glass roof i really like it it's quite quite big almost all over the roof and then you have this entrance with the seats that i'm a big fan of the seats are phenomenal and the quality it's incredible you have to pay some extra but the quality is really good. I mean, you have leather in the middle, you can see the green stitches, you have uh, Alcantara in the middle, you can see the, the leather on the side here, uh, pretty good quality, pretty solid seats. Isofix for child, you can install two child seats in the back here, the headrest look also nice. You don't have any armrest in the middle, that's a good thing for the third person here because it's pretty soft and I will show you that it's pretty comfortable even in the middle, that's important sometimes behind the front seat some plastic some storage space and down here you have two usb one usb c one usb 2 very useful because not everybody use usb c you hear that oh that sound nice 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 sound now i told you when they install the window on the door you have a lovely visibility so the visibility wise is just perfect perfect visibility from this angle when it comes to space 
I'm 173 centimeters and I have four and a half fingers over my head and on my legs, this is it, five, six fingers, pretty good. And before I adjust the seat in my driving position, so yeah, before I start the video, so this is the space. It's not a huge space. I can stretch just a little bit the legs there, but it's nice. I mean, it's okay. It's fine. If you are a very, very tall person, then yeah, you may not have so good space here, but for up to 180, 185, I think you just, just okay. Now the space here, the knees stay a little bit higher, not too much, maybe two, three fingers there, but it's, it's quite nice. I mean, in terms of comfort, it's relatively good. Now, if I go in the middle, let me go in the middle. It's pretty, oh, I told you, it's super soft here. It's, it's probably one of the most comfortable seats in the middle in 2024. Really soft on the back because they don't install that. Wow, this is smart. This is really smart. They don't install that armrest and now they make it much more plushy and soft. And for the third person, it's really cool. Even down here, relatively good quality and good comfort in the middle. And you still have some space on your knees. Also on the head, I have like three and a half, four fingers. Stretch my hand, not completely. Stretch my hand, not completely. But I think I can stay here without any problem, even for medium, short, medium trips. No problem. I really like this space. Maybe it will be a little bit tighter with the person on the side. But basically, if you have a person that loves to stay in the middle yeah it's super comfy anyway lovely glass roof and also you can close it like that manually this is great because you save a little bit of money they save a little bit of money and you save as well if something broke but that's that's really good and it looks nice it's much more brighter with the glass roof when it comes to design and dashboard, it's lovely. I'm, I'm a big fan of this new futuristic design with lines and all kinds of stuff. It, it comes also with ambient light in the doors, in the front, in the dashboard. Lovely, lovely design. It looks gorgeous and I love the fact that it comes with a new multimedia system and the multimedia system is tilted to the driver so you have a good view there. Love the steering wheel, the GT steering wheel look lovely and yeah, every single array there. It's pretty much quite nice and quite futuristic. Anyway, let's go in the front. On the front door, you have only one window from one piece. Visibility, it's really, really good from inside. This time in the front, on the upper side, you have some plastic, but with a nice trim. Plus here you have this beautiful carbon fiber effect. Then you have the piano black and ambient light in the door down here, as I showed you before. Then you have the handles, leather here. Then you have the buttons for the windows, electric adjustable windows, lock the windows. Here you have some storage space, relatively good for the size of the car. And then you have another speaker. Peugeot writing on this nice plate here, plus aluminum pedals on this GT version. Electric adjustable seats. From here you can adjust the seats in every position you want. Plus you can adjust the lumbar position. And here you have a massage on the seats. Cool, yeah? Cool function for this uh, car. Now going forward, big entrance in the front and also from here you can see those beautiful beautiful seats. Uh, love the seats man, I'm, I'm in love with them and the great part is that Peugeot installed those seats. You find it also on 2008, 3008 if I'm not wrong, the same size, the same seats. This is incredible to have such a big seat in such a small car. That means you have crazy comfort. And I test drive the car if you want to find out more, uh, check it out. But I test drive it and I find out that they are crazy, crazy comfortable. And you have plenty of space even in a smaller car. So crazy good. Alcantara has on the other model. Here you have leather, leather on the side. And here on that side you have the lane assist from here you activate it while you're driving this is the kind of the autopilot part of autopilot system lane keeping assist they call it and then here you have uh, the same carbon fiber everywhere in the middle of the center dashboard and it's quite soft soft material also here on the dashboard good quality on the vents they feel really really good quality and yeah let me go inside the car <laughs> continuing here visibility around the windows it's pretty, pretty good. Also in the mirror, good visibility. Nothing to complain in terms of visibility. Even up here, you have great, great visibility in the mirror. Also nice, tiny edges on this mirror. And otherwise, great visibility until the end in the back there. 
you can see one more time the back seats here is the armrest leather soft and adjustable armrest i love that look at this you can adjust it and you can open it and you have some space you can take this out and you have pretty much big space down there so super 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 good glossy plastic in the center console two cup holders here you have electronic handbrake uh, different driving modes you have three different driving modes i have to put the contact here's the starting uh, start stop button and you have three different driving modes echo normal and sport and you can drive in all those three modes uh, i show you also in the test drive video more information check it out there i love the fact that they bring this shift by wire transmission also here and it's much cleaner it looks nice it's easy to change the gears parking button b regenerative brake and also different settings check this out you have a place here look how cool it is for your phone you can basically put your phone here while you're driving with gps and also you can close this completely like that it looks gorgeous you have some storage space down here 12 volt port and USB-C, USB-C here and here you have a wireless charging for your phone so you can charge your phone wireless inside there how cool is that now on the right side on the both A pillars you have a speaker that's cool soft material here everywhere nice design here you have the same carbon fiber here you have ambient light super nice on the down part it looks nice in the night time and then the glow box it's huge it's crazy long it's it's mega 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 big glow box probably one of the biggest glow box uh, out there on the market then here you have also those vents pretty good quality and under the vents you have the buttons for different functions i like the fact that they keep different buttons for the climatic system physical buttons here and those are super useful then you have heated seats for you and the passenger free position super nice and then you have the steering wheel that you can adjust it up down forward backward how you want it super simple to adjust it so you can lock it like that and the steering wheel is just incredible i mean i love the steering wheel it's small it's easy it's light you can drive the car so easy you have great grip up here great grip here you have some finger place for your hands nice nice quality as well you can see the stitches gt writing here new peugeot logo and physical button to control different function in the cockpit change different views and also here for the media and telephone quite nice and behind the steering wheel here you have this talk from where you can control and press some buttons to adjust the cruise control super nice super easy while you're driving a little bit higher you have this new interesting design also before the cockpit it looks like a really interesting alien design quite nice and in the middle you have this digital cockpit they call it i cockpit 3d because it's a three dimensional i don't know if you can see on the camera the 3d image but in reality it looks much cooler and then you can change the views there of course you can personalize what you would like to see in the front you can basically have personal one personal two and you can customize it and then you have the energy that shows you a nice energy graphic of what happened with the energy while you're driving on the left side you have how many percentage and battery you still have and also autopilot when it works you have the dials the kind of a classic dials with the speed and so on and when the car is using power or recharging you have the driving information from autopilot and all that yeah lane assist and stuff and then you have the navigation the cool part is that you see the navigation right there in the middle the map completely map and it's so useful really really useful i love the cockpit i think it's it's really good one of the most beautiful cockpit out there a little bit higher here you have those super nice vanity mirror and super nice led lights on the both side they look also great up here you have two microphones sos button here is the info button and then you have some led lights on the upper side and if you go down here on the multimedia screen i love the fact it's like a cliff they install it like a mountain cliff so here it's a, it's it's really interesting how they design and they put it directly to the driver i love that great job really good now here it's a big screen It's the new multimedia system from Peugeot much better than what was before I would say 
love it it's super responsive you have also some shortcut buttons here this button gets you directly to the uh, vehicle settings the most important vehicle settings this one get you home and this one get you to the climatic system and from here you can adjust and turn on and off the climatic system simple as that so good and then go back to home and here on the home screen you can customize all those widgets in whatever design you want so you can basically choose what you like to have on the first page second page and so on so it's it's really really nice from my point of view it's super cool now on the last page we can go to navigation they use tom tom navigation system and probably one of the best outside on the market and it shows you so clear when you have to go outside from the highway inside it shows you the lanes and the direction super clear it's super responsive much more responsive than it was before so yeah it's pretty good not as good as the Renault one the new Renault ones but it's pretty pretty good and much more responsive than before so i should say it's super usable and it's loading also fast it gives you different routes and direction and information about traffic and so on so you can choose it's loading fast so the hardware is much better than before so yeah i would say it's it's a really really good navigation system right now it shows you also because this is an electric car of course and you need you need to see the charging stations and you have it right here Pro practically you press this you go to the charging station it shows you all the charging station around you it shows you the power of the charging station the name of the charging station address of the charging station and so on and it's crazy crazy useful even though for example if you want to navigate to let's say barcelona let's see if you want to navigate to barcelona you will see in a second how it will look like so yeah just go to barcelona spain center barcelona spain you just press on it you just drive there and it will show you i'm really curious if it show you where you should stop to charge the car or not that's really something that i'm looking forward so yeah it shows you directly barcelona and if you press drive let's see what happened yes recharge need to reach your destination find the charging station you see they warn you that you should find the charging station and it shows you basically on the road look at this charging here it shows you where are the charging and where you should stop and yeah recentering and then you go search here and once you go search it will show you all the charging station on the route look how interesting and then you can choose to stop at which charging station it shows you also when the energy is ending so it tells you ah here you don't have any more energy where you want to stop on the road until there and then when you are here it will show you again others and so on and i think it's also cool i mean it's not automated 100 percent because you should choose that it's not like tesla like they stop you only on tesla here you have to choose yourself and this is also cool it works fast it works fine and you can choose yourself so pretty cool anyway go back to home here on the home you have also the radio you have application drawers where you find all the new application the new uh, 208 come also with games so now this is something new you can play games inside the car while you wait for the charging or whatever you have tiktok toe and hangman and 2048 and you can play those games here uh, also in application drawer you find the adas and all the safety feature advanced driver assistance systems and if you go to function you find all the safety features like panoramic camera close obstacle detection uh, lane keeping assist automatic braking system traction control speed limit recognition traffic sign recognition blind spot alert so you can activate and deactivate them from here you have also tutorial that learn you what uh, every single safety feature do uh, going back to home here in application drawer you have date and time climatic system energy here on the energy you have a nice graphic while you're driving what happened with energy you have statistics and consumption and you have the charging you can schedule and stuff like that going forward also in application drawer you find um, yeah media mirror screen by the way you can connect your apple carplay or android auto to project your apps on the screen 
connect your phone via USB or wireless. So you can do it also wireless, that's cool. I will do a separate video and I will show you how it works that. So stay close or check out on the channel, probably the video is already there. Navigation settings, Peugeot, voice command, telephone and the settings. Those are the most important settings of the car. So here you find, for example, the profile. You can save a profile, customize the colors, the display customization, you can customize the cockpit. Basically, you can add extra widgets to the cockpit. So you go plus and you choose what you would like to see on the cockpit and it will appear right there. Uh, and you can do the same thing with the, the, the multimedia screen because you can change different page, you can add page, you can delete page, you can customize it in the way you want it. So that's super useful. Screen colors, you can choose it from here and then you have interior colors so you can basically choose these ambient colors you have so many colors to choose from here and you can see right now it's turned to red right there the ambient color um, that's nice and then you go to connectivity you have system with language time date uh, kilometer miles celsius fahrenheit you can also change it from here you have the brightness you can choose the brightness audio settings here you can play with them with the settings and adjust different settings from audio, radio setting and volume settings, voice assist. Then you have the vehicle, lightning, vehicle access here, safety settings, updates. The car will do updates over the air. This is also important. These days many cars offer this, the same like Tesla do. And otherwise, I think I cover almost everything. I think you saw everything, guys. Anyway, pretty interesting. Pretty, pretty interesting and very good, very much, much better and much more responsive, this new uh, navigation and multimedia system. Overall, it's really, really cool. I think I cover almost everything in the car. If you still have questions, ask me down below. I will try to answer your question. Also, thank you very much to all of you that are watching my video. If you want to see the car, test drive the car, buy the car, check out Emil Frey in Mossedorf. I will leave the link in the description also on the screen. They are quite nice. They will help you with all the questions you have. Otherwise, I think it's a great car. I think it's a great improvement. Even though before it was a super nice car, super fun to drive and with plenty of good quality almost everywhere you touch it has really really good quality you feel like the car it's quite premium and nice build and uh, everything feels smooth and cool so yeah still still one of my favorite car uh, in top there and with a, such a beautiful design anyway that was the review with a brand new 208 i hope you get some useful information soon will come also the thermal combustion engine 208 probably i will try to review the basic entry level the most affordable version i want to do that uh, to show you also the differences and how it looks because i think the 208 it's it's a great great car and a great option to to drive in most of the world cities it's really cool anyway thank you for watching don't forget to like share subscribe that will help me a lot thank you guys stay safe and i see you soon in the next one bye guys